Wow, look at this set. I'm just really taking it in. It goes into this, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. I'm not messing around. Yeah, no kidding. Is that good? You guys got some indus that, uh, industrial light done? magic yeah, going on. Somebody, somebody had to get all the shit out of a van. Uh, so yeah, we you bring it up in here. Bit. Unscripted. I'm Tina Fey and I'm here with Amy Poehler and we are going to talk about our new film, Baby Mama. Yes, we are going to ask each other some of your questions and then we're going to ask each other some of our own. Ooh, spicy. Yes. So I'm going to start with the first question. Okay. Oh, actually, I think I'm starting with the first question. Okay. Let's do that then. Okay. This question comes from Alex on Newport, Rhode Island. He wants to know, Amy, had Tina already signed on, and by Tina he means me, Yeah. already signed on when you agreed Not to do Tina this Turner? film? Not Tina Turner. Okay. And what was the best and worst part of being her baby mama? Well, um, and by the way, throughout this interview, we should make the distinction if you're talking about you or Tina Turner. Right. People still get really confused. Um, yes, Tina had already signed on, Alex, from Newport, Rhode Island. And um, uh, uh, we had decided we'd kind of sign on together to do it together. Yeah. And the best part of, 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 be, of you being, of me being your baby mama, or you being mine? Best part, best and worst part of being uh, baby mama. Uh... Yes. There you go. A bravely honest answer. Thank you. Okay, Tina. What finally made you decide to get involved in a project you didn't write? Do you plan to do this more in the future? I think the thing that finally made me willing to do it mm -hmm. was that someone asked me to do it. Mm. That's how the craft works. Because nobody ever asked me before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I would love to do it again in the future, absolutely. Oh, isn't it great? I mean, I didn't memorize my lines, and mm -hmm. I didn't read the script. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Unscripted. OK. What did, you, uh, what did you wear to your high school prom? That's a good question. I just made it up now. <gasps> well, um, for my, oh, terrible. Outfit. I wore a royal blue, mm -hmm. which someone told me was a really good color for me. I'm sure it is. Uh, mer like high sleeve mermaid mermaid style Ooh. long thing. A leg of mutton sleeve. Yeah. Ooh, is that it? That is the tallest. <laughs> leg of mutton. Nice. <laughs> with a uh, with an applique, uh -huh. and my hair was probably this wide, and the top of it was this nice. tall, and the back of it was super flat. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's a good question. Thank you. Okay, Tina. If you had to choose a celebrity to be a surrogate for you, who would it be and why? Um, I would choose George Clooney. Yeah. Now, right. I should be, I don't understand how surrogacy works. No but whenever a anyone asks me a question, I just say that I choose George Clooney. Yep, I get it. He would be, per <laughs> he would be a perfect man to be pregnant. Right? Mm -hmm. He would Classy. just play basketball. And he would have beautiful Italy. pregnancy suits. Beautiful linen Maternity shirts, yes. Maternity tux. He would play basketball. He would play basketball. Yeah. While he was just to stay healthy mm -hmm. and. Yeah. What if he? What if he thought he was pregnant, but it was a basketball under? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh, your turn. What's your first memory of making people laugh? When did you decide to pursue it as a career? When I came out of the womb, <laughs> I remember the doctor thought I was hilarious. <laughs> no. When I was young, I think I would make people laugh, maybe not always on purpose. Mm -hmm. And what's, I get two parters. What's the second part? Um, uh, what, and when did you decide to pursue it as a career? Oh, um, last week. Oh, so this is timing out really well for you. Yeah, because I just decided to really, I just right. quit, I quit my, um, my job as a um, professional break dancer. Right. And I'm like, I'm going for it. I'm going to do this acting thing. That's good, because, uh, yeah. Yeah, because the break dancing was bad. Yeah. I was really bad at it. I mean, I could pop, but I couldn't lock. Right. Who hmm. is your favorite golden girl? Well, that is an excellent question. This is filled with vodka, by the way. Because uh, I love all of them, mm -hmm. and they all have major chops. I think I'm going to say Estelle Getty. Yeah. Because she just really knew how to zing it in for a laugh. Yeah. And she was playing much older than she was at the time. Mm hmm. Um, just like me in, in Baby Mama, I'm playing 37. And I'm you only are, 15. You're 15. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Good for you. You've done um, so much. I've done so much. You look, yeah. You look horrible for a 15 year old. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> what, uh, what is it like being married to fellow comedian Will Arnett? Are you always making each other laugh? Um, 
We are make, we're always making each other cry. Oh, just to... We do real intense couple stuff, real yeah. intense couple therapy. We get really close every day, face to face. And we, we tell each other what's wrong with each other. Mm -hmm. And we hit certain pressure points. Physical, actual pressure points on the body. I think a good mar an, a marriage can only survive by daily crying. Daily crying. Yeah. Daily crying. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We've, we've, you and I have talked about that. Yes. It's a way you to get. You've got to make time to upset each other. Absolutely. And fight. Because if you can't upset your husband, who right. can? Um, if Amy, I'm assuming they're meeting me and right. not. Or Amy Madigan. Amy Madigan. Or Amy Winehouse. Winehouse. If Amy Winehouse were to guest star on 30 Rock. <laughs> I think they mean you. <laughs> okay. What kind of character would you write for her? I would make her play Amy Winehouse. Great. And why is that? Um, because of my. Because it would be funny. It would be <laughs> I would make, I mean, 30 Rock is pretty. I would love to play Amy Winehouse. Uh, I would too. <laughs> I know, you would look like Amy Winehouse. Um, I, uh, the 30 Rock universe is very elastic, and we have all kinds of crazy characters. So Good I, use of the word elastic. Thank you. Um, uh, I, so it's going to sound weird, but I would have Amy play a snow queen that mm. comes through the window and solves everyone's problems. Oh, I love that. <laughs> And by snow, you mean I would be a cocaine addict. <laughs> Leg crossing. Mm, basic instinct. Okay. Tina, you've said that your daughter Alice is the funniest person you know. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give her if she wanted to go into showbiz? I would tell her to wait 50 years. Mm. Wait till she's 52 and a half. To start? To start. That's what we did. Right? That's what I did, and it's really working out. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you're a grown woman by that point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get caught up in a big mess. Mm -hmm. You're not going to pose on the cover of Maxim with your thumbs in your underpants. <laughs> That's how I always take my pants off, too. I'm you know like, what's amazing always, about yeah. those magazines? Is they always depict how I'm just always hanging out. Yeah, you know what my new favorite thing is? I keep noticing the, the pictures in the magazines of a lot of the young, the young celebi, celebi girls um, smiling like this. And if you really look at you don't notice in the picture, but if you really look at how open their mouths are, it's like, when have you ever in your life been so happy that you smiled like this? <laughs> I will say, though, <sighs> it's I'm a person that does not photograph well, and you'll be able to tell from unscripted. I'm in a bad business and um, for me. And I feel like when I'm, I feel like there are times when I'm posing, and I'm just, I, this is what I feel like I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm going. Mm -hmm. And, I'm and like, instead what I'm going. Fact doing? <laughs> I know. But I even know. that, like, You'd be able to put your whole fist in your mouth if you had your... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to tell Amy. From that unscripted sign is driving me crazy. It is not perfect. If you could work It's with driving me crazy, Tina. I'm so sorry. The everything oh, about it... Oh, this is like a question. Okay. Oh, my God. It's a little out of It's that. just everything is off. I'm so sorry. I asked the question, <sighs> but honestly, to... honestly, it's... I, I mean, it's... This, like... I know. I'm going to work. I'm going to try my best. <laughs> okay. OK. Just try to look at me. Just focus on me. You're looking at the thing. I'm sorry. Got to try to look at my, what used to be my face. Look at me. OK. If you could work with any female comedian, living or deceased, who would it be and why? That's a great question. I would say Ruth Buzzy, mm -hmm. Gilda Radner, mm -hmm. um, Moms Mabley. Moms Mabley. And um, Liberace. <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. We're going to take a. Um, mm. Vlog. How's it going over there, you guys? Well, it's a lot of chatter. Mm. A lot of chatter over there, guys. <laughs> I want to say thank you to Amy. Oh, and I would like to say thank you to Tina. Turner. Thank you to Movie Phone. Thank you to Tina Turner. And thank you to you guys for sending us your questions. I hope we answered them all. And please check out our new film. Baby Mama in theaters starting April 25th at night. And don't and daytime. forget to show up. Because if you do, we get to make another movie. And so, best wishes to you and yours. And always remember, never put your fingers in your, <laughs> <laughs> in your own <laughs> <laughs> Never your own. Anybody but your own.
Roland, this time we're going to tape it. <laughs> <laughs>